staircase where Jamie is. Wait, top Actually, of I, can, I, can, I can go and plant. Just cover me. Or he was wherever. It's a Rook, though. Watch this. He's going to be right behind this wall. Watch, watch, watch. Just guys. Three, two, one. Owie. And to the right. And oh, yeah. I <laughs> got him. Did you get that kill? Hey guys, Operator Drewski here, and today we're going to be talking about Velvet Shell. This is a DLC for Rainbow Six Siege coming out tomorrow, and today I'm going to be talking about why I'm so excited for it and how I feel that it's one of the most unique and game-changing DLCs yet within the series of Rainbow Six Siege. So in the past, we've had a lot of game-changing DLC operators. To name a few that I think are the most kind of like game-changing where you have to think about that operator and make sure you're caring about that operator being out there somewhere in the distance, hunting you down or something, you know. Um, operators that really are a highlight to me are operators like Frost, Valkyrie, and Hibana. These are operators that you have to think about if you're fighting against them. You know, Valkyrie is extremely effective and one of the most played operators at the moment because of her powerful camera placement. She can put a camera wherever she wants and you really have to focus on trying to take out her cameras if you're playing against a Valkyrie and Valkyrie is one of those top players that also peeks out the windows of an operation a lot. Frost is one of those operators where you have to watch out for her frost traps that is the reason that why players always look down when they hop into a window is because they're expecting a frost trap to be right below it. It's, it's an extremely effective operator it kills uh, like enemy operators so you really have to be careful about her frost traps it's not just something that damages you or maybe hinders you from going down a hallway, but it's an operator that can actually kill you in game. Now, Hibana is another one as well. It definitely helps Thermite out if you have a Hibana as well, because you can absolutely destroy almost every single reinforced wall, and you don't really have to care about reinforced walls anymore after Hibana's release. And it's really extremely close to the, the last DLC. We're having a new DLC coming out already, and I'm extremely excited for these new operators. And basically, these two new operators that are releasing are some of, I think, the most game-changing operators yet, because they absolutely change how both defenders are going to play and how attackers are going to play, and you're going to have to really note the operators while you're playing in-game to make sure to kind of counteract them. So first off, we have the attacking operator, and this is Jackal. He's a Spanish operator that has a futuristic visor on his helmet that is able to see footprints of enemies. Now, some people were kind of, uh, you know, controversial about this super futuristic thing, but, I mean, it's Rainbow Six Siege. I think it's more of a non-simulator game now and more of a extremely well-done competitive game. Um, and overall, I think it's really, really cool. I think this definitely counteracts the roamers on the defensive team, and the ability to see footprints is extremely powerful by itself. Now, he can see these footprints, and they're, they're going to be different colors depending on how far the person is away from those footprints by how many seconds they've actually been away. Sorry, not by how far, but how many seconds they've uh, passed, have passed when that person walked over that area. So let's say a footprint is red, that means it's red hot, that means the person is very, very close. But if the footprint is something like green or blue, that means that the person is rather far away and that you're very far away from that character who is roaming the objective. Now, not only does Jackal have the ability to see footprints, he has the ability to scan these footprints three different times. So if he finds three different pairs of footprints, he can scan these footprints, and every time he scans a footprint, he is able to actually instantly see the exact location of whoever operator that is which is crazy. I never thought that a pulse type character that would enable you to really see the enemies would be on the attacking team, but this is pretty similar to it. Um, this is a character that definitely kind of boosts his awareness a lot. It doesn't really do anything else but boosts his awareness and his ability to really see where the enemies are, his perception um, in the battlefield. And I'm really excited for him because his ability to ping exact locations of enemies means that enemies can't just camp around in a roaming area anymore. They have to really keep on their toes and watch out for Jackal. I mean, you if you're a defender and you're roaming, you have to make sure that there's not a Jackal around because he's going to be stalking you down. And it's going to be very interesting to see how... How Jackal works. I'm honestly extremely excited. Like, this is my type of player to play. So, when he scans you and he sees your location, your location doesn't only ping one time, it pings three times in total. It pings once whenever he scans you, in 10 seconds it'll ping you again, and then in another 10 seconds it'll ping you again. So for a total of 30 seconds, you'll be under a semi-radar of the attacking team being able to see wherever you are within those 30 seconds as long as you get pinged every 10 seconds. And he can do this up to three times to three different operators. So this is something similar to even Caviera. You know, you can get interrogated and your entire team can get seen. That is a huge moment in a game where Caviar gets a successful interrogation and the entire enemy scene, uh, team sorry, is shown up on her minimap on her HUD. 
it's crazy and it's super powerful and Jackal is exactly like that. I think he works similar but not as powerful as Caviera but definitely they will be really fighting each other because Caviera has the ability to silent step where her footprints are invisible to Jackal. But if she doesn't have silent step on, Jackal can see her footprints just the same as anybody else and for lightweight characters that are roaming around I really do think that Jackal is going to definitely counteract them and they are going to have to primarily worry about a character like Jackal. Now again Jackal is a two Two speed two armor character and then we also have the defensive character which is Mira she is a three armor one speed character and she's basically going to be one of those new uh, camping operators who sits in the objective this is because she has these amazing gadgets that are windows that she can place through reinforced walls now these windows don't go two ways they actually go one way and therefore the attacking team looking into the objective cannot see through the window it's gonna be fully black whenever they try to look through it and the defending team can see through that window and see the operators going in and trying to attack the objective now imagine this this might seem not that powerful at first but imagine this like let's say favela and you get the first floor the center room that like has that big wall that looks into the uh, outside area Let's say you were to put a window up on a wall facing the outside area. Oh my gosh, the ability to be able to see operators outside and see where they're going is extremely powerful in that case and just really really cool I'm ex extremely excited for it to be honest and Mira doesn't only have one but she has two of these windows and the ability of these windows is kind of interesting there's a little kind of fire extinguisher like air air container looking thing that's right below the window and if you are to shoot this the window is permanently opened it is actually open so let's say you wanted to kind of peek on some operators right outside the objective then you could shoot the window open and then fire on down to attackers that are trying to sneak into the objective behind the reinforced wall this is pretty crazy and this can actually kind of damage both teams because let's say Amira fails her attack whenever she shoots open the window maybe an enemy is looking into that window and then the attacking team can peek through that window now it's kind of a mistake that Mira really needs to focus on and it's going to be interesting to see where players place these especially in the pro league and higher up levels and and ranked matches it's going to be interesting to see where players place these windows uh because it's going to have to be a very tactical well thought out placement because let's say you again open the window and an, an attacking operator kills you then he has the ability to see through the entire objective also let's say there's an operator that is looking through the door on the opposite side of a room and he can see that window closed he can shoot that window and open it for the rest of your team on the other side of the objective to come on in so that's kind of scary because you always know that you can see into objectives usually without like actually seeing any players there's a lot of moments in siege where you're looking right into the objective room but you're not going in yet because you're trying to kind of peek everything and pie the areas but there's gonna be a lot of moments i feel like where the window is going to be opened by attackers from the other side of the room and for the advantage of the attackers and so i'm not really sure exactly how effective mir is going to be i think she's still going to be a definite definite like game changer in terms of like the awareness of the defensive team but jackal in my opinion is the more powerful of the two and i really do think that he's going to be a huge game changer and what's also interesting about these new operators is that they both come with shotguns as secondaries their primaries for mira for example is a vector 45 acp and an ita 12l shotgun now their secondaries can either be a usp 40 i believe or the ita 12s which is pretty dang interesting I think a lot of people are going to be excited to use the shotguns as secondaries and a lot of people are going to be excited to use an actual vector in Rainbow Six Siege. Mira is definitely going to be one of those players that those vector fanboys will definitely like to play as and I definitely will as well because heck yeah vectors seem fun. Um, the primary of Jackal is actually a pretty good list of primaries. There's a C7E assault rifle which is more like an M16 kind of clone that looks really cool. It's a long range kind of long barrel assault rifle. It's definitely going to be my choice in Rainbow Six Siege to use. Then there is a PDW-9, so machine gun, and also the ITA-12L, just like Mira's shotgun, her primary shotgun. And again, Jackal has the same shotgun as secondary or the USP-40 if he so chooses. I just think it's kind of interesting that these operators can have shotguns as secondaries. I think that's a pretty cool feature. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this update today. Hope you enjoyed the Rainbow Six Siege news, and I cannot wait to play this DLC tomorrow. Uh, tell me what you think about it in the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next one.